The dehumanizing aim of those who direct the education system from the top is to serve the private interests of those in control of the economy, the financial oligarchy. The aim coming from the top means that the educators and youth are put under tremendous pressure to obey and fit into this antisocial atmosphere of serving narrow private interests and their market, including their labor market. They are forced to fend for themselves and do whatever it takes to secure a niche for themselves in the education system and labor market the financial oligarchs control. However, try as they might, these narrow private interests do not and cannot control the people. Try as they might, they cannot force teachers, education workers, parents and students to agree with them and willingly succumb. This is their problem and society's greatest asset. While getting an education is a source of constant worry for the younger generations, because of the cost and the dog-eat-dog, dog, everyone-fend-for-themselves culture, many youth are defying this dictate in order to build a bright future for themselves. There is no doubt the education system is degenerating, and this causes increasing stress for teachers, education workers, administrators, and parents. There is also no doubt they are courageously and with tremendous dedication and determination finding ways and means to say no to the cutbacks, privatization, dictate and imposition of unacceptable aims and conditions. Even administrators who are hired and pressured by those who have their fingers in the education pie to run schools, colleges and universities as if they are private businesses whose main aim is to make money for all and sundry. They are speaking out despite threats of job loss and other forms of reprisal. This resistance, this refusal to give in, this spirit of saying no when necessary, makes the unity in action among educators, support staff, students and parents life-giving and important. It makes the demands and claims of those who work and live in the field of education, educators, students, parents and others, so vitally important. Educators are professionals who have taken up a duty to society and to their students and to themselves. When we speak about our conditions of life and work and the problems in the field of education because of cutbacks and lack of funding or the self-seeking demands of powerful private interests, our voices are worth more than gold. People should listen to us and support us when we fight to affirm our rights and speak in our own name.